so we are in Tehachapi, 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 California, and this is about 10 miles off of the trailhead, which is down 58 at the pass, Tehachapi Pass. Anyway, it's a cute town. This is a uh, uh, this place is hopping uh, May May through July with PCT hikers. I'm going to make this short. We're having uploading problems with uh, YouTube, so I don't know when this is going to get posted, but Tehachapi has uh, a hostel area. I wrote about that. It's got three motels. There's the village marketplace. Restaurants. And yes, it has a Walmart. Even though we're approaching the market, there is a Walmart down the road and a larger shopping center where the uh, Walmart is. This is the downtown area. There are taverns, there's your liquor store, visitor center right here. And there's more, there was a little um, um, laundry pad. Oh yeah, there's laundry facilities. I, I guess, in, well there's the bakery. It's, Everybody wants to know where the bakery is. There it is, right there. At uh, I don't know what street we're on. We are on. Anyway, this is the downtown section. Don't confuse it where where Walmart is. If you drive a little further east from Walmart, about a quarter of a mile, you come to the downtown section. Burger spot. Several places to eat. But yeah, quite a few places to eat. There's a wine taste. Evidently, there's a winery nearby that's won some awards wine tours. I'm looking at the visitor center right okay. now. Goat yoga. Um, anyway, I'm not going to make this real long. This is a high desert. Uh, evidently, once you leave here on the PCT, you've got about a 20 mile stretch with no, with no water. So load up here. This is a good place to load up. Um, and just so you know, right now it's February 20th. And they're supposed to have snow here, unusually, um, the amount of snow that they're going to get in about three days. Yeah, we're at 4,000 feet. Uh, this is about 20 miles out of Bakersfield, which is at the valley floor. And yesterday it was, um, it was 65 in Bakersfield. I'm talking about February 20th, 19th. And we climbed up to the 4,000 foot level and it's 10 degrees cooler. And there's still snow in the hills so i don't know what that bodes for 2023 uh pct hikers but this is tehachapi places to stay uh if i understand correctly on the prices of some of the motels you'll want to get a group rate two or three hikers get one room because it's fairly expensive the hotels are about 100 110 a night I guess there's one rickety motel somewhere that's about 60 a night on the outskirts of town. But anyway, decent little town, high desert. I'll bet it's hot here yeah. in uh, yeah. in May. About there's May. There's a lot of wind that helps a lot. Yeah, this the wind never stops. There's a there's a glider uh, airport right next to the RV park where we stayed, and I guess that glider place does a lot of business. Anyway, nice town, friendly people, it's hopping in uh, late spring, and uh, there's, P there's PCT uh, angels, or uh, trail angels, that, uh, did we leave downtown? Yeah. Huh? Anyway, I'm not going to make this long. Anything else to tell them about this, Beverly? Um. It's there's a Starbucks. Oh, there's a Walgreens. <laughs> there's a Walgreens. I mean, seriously, there's everything you need to resupply. It's a good resupply town. I'm just saying, if you're going to spend the night, which most people want to do zeros, if you're going to spend the night, get a room for two or three or four of you. All right. That's it from Tehachapi. Bye.